So if y'all don't know, a couple days ago, uh, 45 just released his his three phase opening up America again plan. Now, what I was going to do was read the article. But what I did was I found a link to the actual entire guideline. And I'm going to warn you right now because I'm going to read the entire thing. This is actually gonna be my first time reading it from top to bottom. This guideline, this opening up America guideline thing is 18 pages long. <clears throat> Excuse me. So bear with me. Luckily, I think it's in list format, so it's not going to be that hard to get through it. So the first part says proposed state or regional gating criteria. Uh, let's say symptoms, downward trajectory of influenza like illnesses reported within a 14 day period and tra downward trajectory of a of a virus like syndr syndromic. Cases reported within a 14 day period cases downward trajectory of documented cases within a 14 day period or downward trajectory of positive cases as a percent of total tests within a 14 day period. Hospitals treat all patients without crisis care and robust testing program in place for at risk health care workers, including emergency. I'm sorry, emerging anti antibody testing. Now, the next section is going to be core state preparedness responsibilities. The first one is testing and contact tracing. And under it says ability to quickly set up safe and efficient screening and testing sites for symptomatic individuals and trace contacts of virus results. Ability to test syndromic indicated persons for virus and trace contacts of virus results. Ensure sentinel surveillance sites are screening for asymptomatic Cases and contacts for virus results are traced. Sites operate at locations that serve older individuals, lower income Americans, racial minorities, and Native Americans. The next one is under that same uh, umbrella is healthcare system and capacity. Healthcare system capacity, ability to quickly and independently supply sufficient personal protective equipment and critical medical equipment to handle dramatic surge in need, ability to surge ICU capacity plans. Protect the health and safety of the workers in critical industries. Protect the health and safety of those living and working in high-risk facilities, such as health, senior care facilities. Protect employees and users of mass transit. Advise citizens regarding protocols for social distancing and face coverings. Monitor conditions and immediately take steps to limit and mitigate any rebounds or outbreaks by restarting a phase or returning to an earlier phase depending on severity. So basically that last one is stating that if there is a possible new outbreak from this virus, that they're going to have to go back to a previous phase than the one before. Now, like I said, it's three phases. What I'm reading to you right now, I haven't even gotten to the phases yet. What I'm reading to you is the prerequisites before even phase one begins. Um, the second, this next section is called prepaid, I'm sorry, prepaid, proposed phased approach based on up to date data and readiness mitigates risk of resurgence, protects the most vulnerable, implementable on statewide or county by county basis at governor's discretion. Okay. And this one says guideline for all phases individuals. Now this is talking about the people. Continue to practice good hygiene. Wash your hands with soap and water or use hand sanitizer, especially after touching frequently and use items or surfaces. Avoid touching your face, sneeze or cough into a tissue or the side of your elbow. Disinfect frequently used items and surfaces such as much as possible. Strongly consider using face coverings while in public and particularly when using mass transit. People who feel sick should stay home. Do not go to work or school. Contact and follow the advice of your medical provider. The next one is guideline for all phases in the phases, and this is for employers. Develop and implement appropriate policies in accordance with federal, state, and local regulations and guidance and informed by industry best practices regarding social distancing and protective equipment, temperature checks, testing, isolating, and contact tracing, sanitation, use and disinfection of common and high traffic areas, business travel. Monitor workforce for indicative symptoms. Do not allow symptomatic people to physically return to work until cleared by a medical provider. Develop and implement policies and procedures for workforce contact tracing following employee 
uh, positive virus testing. Now, what I'm about to read to you is I'm sure the part that y'all were here to listen to, and that's the phases in which they're going to start opening things back up. Phase one, individuals, all vulnerable Phase one individuals, all vulnerable individuals should continue to shelter in place. Members of households with vulnerable residents should be aware that by returning to work or other environments where distancing is not practical, they could carry the virus back home. Precautions should be taken to isolate from vulnerable residents. All individuals, when in public, such as parks, outdoor recreation areas, shopping areas, should maximize physical distancing from others. Social settings of more than 10 people where appropriate Distancing may not be practical, should be avoided unless precautionary measures are observed. Avoid socializing in groups and more than 10 people in circumstances that do not readily allow for appropriate physical distancing, such as receptions and trade shows. Minimize non-essential travel and adhere to CDC guidelines regarding isolation following travel. Phase one is for employers. Continue to encourage telework whenever possible and feasible with business operations. If possible, return to work in phases. I actually kind of thought when I was when I first saw this, I was mentioning this, mentioning this to somebody. I said, I bet you they're going to have people return to work in a physical way in phases that they're not going to have all of the employees come back at one time. So they're probably going to designate days of which people can work and probably for a certain amount of hours per day. Um, it says close common areas where personnel are likely to congregate and interact or enforce strict social distancing protocols, minimize non-essential travel and adhere to CDC guidelines regarding isolation following travel. Strongly consider special accommodation for personnel who are members of a vulnerable population. Phase one. This is still phase one. Specific types of employers, schools and organized youth activities such as daycare and camps that are currently closed should remain closed. Visits to senior living facilities and hospitals should be prohibited. Those who do interact with residents and patients must adhere to strict protocols regarding hygiene. Large venues such as sit down dining, movie theaters, sporting venues, places of worship can operate under strict physical distancing protocols. Elective surgeries can resume as clinically appropriate on an outpatient basis at facilities that adhere to the CMS guidelines. Gyms can open if they adhere to the strict physical distancing and sanitation protocols. Bars should remain closed. Now, I just read to you all of phase one. Now, let me remind you, I might say it again at the end. There is no date set in place as of yet when these phases are going to actually kick in. So... They could kick in next month. They may kick in in June, July, maybe even as late as August. Because remember, some places have the social, not the social distancing. They have the the quarantine period up until June. Like I said, in Michigan, their quarantine period is up until June 16th. So they may wait until everybody's quarantine period is over and then roll the phases out, which means if that is the case and Michigan is in quarantine until June, they may not start slowly rolling these phases out until maybe sometime later in June or maybe sometime early July. And these are going to be slow rollouts like it's going to these phases It's almost like these phases are going to be in phases. All right, now I'm going on to phase two. Phase two for individuals. All vulnerable in individuals should continue to shelter in place. Member of households with vulnerable residents should be aware that by returning to work or other environments where distancing is not practical, they could carry the virus back home. Precautions should be taken to isolate from vulnerable residents. All individuals when in public, such as the places that I did mention before, should maximize physical distance from other social settings of more than 50 people where appropriate distancing may not be practical should be avoided unless precautionary measure precautionary measures are observed non-essential travel can then resume phase two for employers continue to encourage Telework whenever possible and feasible with business operations. Close common areas where personnel are likely to congregate and interact or enforce moderate, moderate social distancing protocols. Non-essential travel can resume. Strong consider special accommodations for personnel who are members of a vulnerable population. Phase two, specific type of employers. Schools and organized youth activities such as daycare and camp can reopen. 
Visits to senior care facilities and hospitals should be prohibited. Those who do interact with residents and patients must adhere to strict protocols regarding hygiene. Now, before I go any further, remember some schools or a lot of schools are going to be closed through the rest of this year. So if by what they're saying in phase two, that schools can reopen, that means the schools probably that phase two sounds like it won't kick in until late this year going into early 2021. Like I said, it's going to be a slow rollout with the phases. It's not like they're going to have phase one happen in one month and then then the next month they're going to jump to phase two. No, they're going to have phase one last a couple months. And then when they see phase one is working, then they'll move on to phase two and then phase three. Large venues such as sit down dining, movie theaters, sporting venues, and so on and so forth can operate under moderate physical distancing protocols. Elective surgeries can resume as clinically appropriate on an outpatient inpatient basis at facilities that adhere to the CMS guidelines. Gyms can remain open if they adhere to strict physical distancing and sanitation protocols. Bars may operate with diminished standing room occupancy where applicable and appropriate. So that means if you go to a bar. You will not be sitting at a bar stool. You will get your drink, take your shot or whatever it is, and you will just end up leaving. That's basically what it's saying. Because they're saying bars tend to get crowded and bars, for the most part, are very closed in spaces. Now, phase three. This is the last phase right here. Phase three for individuals. Vulnerable individuals can resume public interactions, but should practice physical distancing, minimizing exposure to social settings where distancing may not be practical unless precautionary measures are observed. Low risk populations should consider minimizing time spent in crowded environments. Phase three for employers is resume unrestricted staffing on work sites. Phase three of specific type of employers visits to senior care facilities and hospitals can resume. Those who interact with residents and patients must be diligent regarding hygiene. Large venues can operate under limited physical distancing pro- protocols. Gyms can remain open if they adhere to the standard sanitation protocols. Bars may operate with increased standing room occupancy where applicable. Um, Then they say vulnerable individual and that's basically phase three. Phase three basically means now they feel that the first two phases are working. They can get more, more and more people slowly back out there. And I'm going to just say it right now. I have a feeling that phase one might kick in maybe sometime late summer, early fall. Then phase two will probably be like winter, late winter this year going into next year. And then phase three will probably be around this time next year. That basically calculates about a year before they really get back into the swing of things, which is basically what their goal is to hopefully have everything back in some kind of a motion by next year. And then hopefully by 2022, if everything looks right, then we can really, really, really get back into the swing of things. Like I said, though, in plenty of my other videos, there is no sense of normalcy here. They're me- meaning that they're not going to go back to what was before this quarantine period kicked off. And like I said, it's going to take time based on what they have laid out. Like I said, the phases is going to each phase is probably going to last a couple months per phase. It's basically like a trial and error type of thing. So that's basically the guideline plans. I'm actually surprised I got through it a little bit faster than what I had expected. And the last part is saying vulnerable individuals are elderly and those with underlying health issues. But we already knew that. But that's really all I have right there as far as the phases go out. Um, I'll leave a link so y'all can have the guideline on hand. But I would like to know and hear from y'all. What do y'all think about this? these guidelines that's laid out do you think that these that this can actually be done because like i'm telling you some people are going to grow impatient and they might actually ruin this because like i said they don't have a date set for when this is going to roll out or when this is going to actually start and like i said some places are still under quarantine until june or like through half of june so they're probably not going to roll this out until the quarantine period for every state is completed because they want everybody to be or hopefully everybody to be on one accord not just have everyone some people in phase one while people haven't even gotten to phase one so 
is going to be, like I said, I'm guessing if they had to start, they're probably going to start late summer, which is like around August um, in early September to early fall, which is the end of September. But I'm going to I'm going to guesstimate and say somewhere around August, August, early September when they're going to start it. And then we'll go from there. But that's really all I have for y'all right now. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you have not done so already. Have your notifications turned on and I will talk to you in the next one.